Okay, by now hopefully you're learning how to switch chords on the beat, but I'm sure you'll agree it doesn't quite sound like real music yet. To get to the next level, we need to learn strum patterns. A strum pattern is just a repeating sequence of down and up strums in the right hand that'll energize our chord patterns and make it start to sound like real music. Okay, I'll do a classic strum pattern for you and then we'll work backwards and get up to there. Now, quick word about the chords, it's the same chords that we learned in the last lesson. G, C9, and a D. Also, like the last lesson, it's one measure per chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But what gives it that energy is a series of down strums and up strums, okay? So we'll start with a more basic strum pattern and we'll work up to that one. First one I want you to do is down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Now notice my right hand is just moving nice and easy down, it's always moving down and up. When I engage with the strings is when I get the sound. Down, down, up, down, down. If you're counting beats, it's one, two, and three, four. Now that's fairly critical. The up beat is going to be an up strum. So one, down, two, down. The and is the up strum. As long as I keep that straight, down for down beats and up for up beats, you can really switch these patterns interchangeably and really give it a natural feel. So that pattern again, nice and slow, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, not bad, but we can improve. Let's try another pattern. This one's gonna be down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Still, all downs for the downstrom, ups for the upstrom. If you're tapping your foot, you're going to tap down on a downstrom. You're going to pick your foot up as you're strumming up. Okay, not bad, but I think we can still do better. So here's the pattern I want to show you guys. This one goes down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Once you learn this pattern, you're going to hear it in so many different songs. It's really used by everybody. Okay? The one thing to notice about my right hand is, even in this instance, is moving down and up consistently. It never stops. You're probably, as you start to learn, going to get hung up with a down, down, up, up, down, up, or something backwards like that. Try and get in the habit of always moving your hand down, up, down, up, down, up. And when it makes contact with the strings, you get a sound. That pattern's tricky, break it up into smaller bits. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So that's, you could call it a syncopated strumming pattern. It just kind of gives it a lot of energy. And the first song that I can think of that comes to mind is Green Day, uh, Good Riddance or Time of Your Life, kind of has that rhythm. Maybe a little rough at first, but practice that way. Stay faithful to the beat, counting and tapping your foot, and making sure you're always moving your right hand down and up as you go. 
and that is a syncopated strum pattern, or just any kind of strum pattern, really. Thanks.